Cape Verdean Islands, the island of Sal Punta Preta. Here we go, Tom. Yeah, here we go indeed. I mean, it's been a day of absolutely intense wing foiling action. And I have to say, one of the highlights of the entire day for me was Elena's earlier heat when she went down as hard as I've seen anyone crash oh, man. and yet managed to recover, sail back out with a broken wing and take another wave. Uh, that, in these conditions, is something Respect. to be respected. Yeah, and, uh, you know, if anyone says girls can't rip, they are ripping just as hard as anyone out there right now. Without a doubt, mate. I completely agree. And seeing what these girls have been pulling off here, what all of the athletes have been pulling off here in the conditions, it is just so cool to be a part of it. And now the big final, Elena Moreno. The surprise coming into this event has upped her wave gun. And i got to say, she is one of the athletes who has been going with the biggest commitment. She is going up against the reigning world champion and the reigning champion from last year, Muna White from Hawaii. She's already won the kite event. Can she do a double again? 25 minutes to find out. Yeah, and not only, you know, has Elena been going critical, taking big risks, but... You know, when it went wrong, she's been coming up the rocks with a smile on her face, yeah. which for me just shows that she's really enjoying it out there. Look, and we're kicking this heat off now with a perfect set. Back-to-back -back waves. Who's this on the first wave? I think that's... That's looking like it's going to be Elena, as I can see her out there. Yep, yeah, it's going to be Elena out on the Cabrina. Oh, Ooh, at least she went... Oh, watch out the one behind. She's gone down in the impact zone. Has she gone down close enough not to get it on the head? We will soon find out. This is what we were saying. Elena has, she's got the skills. And look, just getting caught up on this second turn. I don't know what happened there. That was very uncharacteristic, actually. Did not see that coming. Maybe she changed her shim. <laughs> I mean, she's gone through some equipment this, this yeah, event, I can true. tell you that. Yeah, she's true. gone she's through some equipment, She's mate. probably on her third set of gear. Yeah, but I mean, uh, we very much appreciate it to be able to see here. Fuerte Ventura Tope. Eso es, Ancor. Absolutely. And well done, Nathan, here from, the Cape, from Cape Town Vibes. A big up to all the Cape Town crew. And Leca, yeah. Leca, bro. Leca, bro. Leca, bro. <laughs> and Nathan getting that third position here. And we can see, so third position is going to be Nathan Van Vuren and in fourth position, Finn Spencer. Now here, we are going to see who is going to be the top, the queen of Cape Verde. As it is about to go, 4.0 already up there for Elena. Muna waiting for the sets. Yeah, waiting for a set out there and looking through some of those comments again. Just coming back to you, Mick White Whitelaw, on the question of whether there's been any injury so far this competition. I mean, we've seen some serious world-class action, mm. some massive wipeouts, obviously some wing destruction um, and some gears, some gear destroyed. But touch wood, there's been no, there's been no injuries. No touch wood, but also we have the safety crew there ready in case anything happens. But yep, touch wood, a very cool, you know, beach crew here as well because it's so close to the rocks. Sometimes you know, a lot of the guys getting out just on the rocks to get the people off. And as you say, touch wood, uh, absolute seamless event so far. Two heats to go as we now see Elena with Moreno with a 4.0. Muna White coming back towards us here, the rider for F1. And she is the queen of the kite surfing world for the last two years and also of the wing foiling last year as world champion winner here. Let's see if she can take the win one more time because Elena has been on fire this event. Yeah, indeed she has. I mean, Muna obviously claiming the win. Yeah, just yesterday in the kite surfing world championships for the first stop of the GKA World Tour, and now competing again today, making it to the to the two woman final. Seems like a month ago. Man. Of the wing foil event, I mean, she must be exhausted, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> having no. flown all the way from Hawaii just a few days ago. That is professionalism. Yeah, Muna, always always a smile, absolute killer athlete, and such a nice person off the off the water, you know. Her and Kiahi, really cool to hang out with them over the years and great to see where they are pushing the sport. And Muna now, both on the kite surfing and the winging, absolutely dominating. But this lady here, Elena Moreno, 
is trying to put a stop to her reign. Yeah, indeed. I'm glad they extended the heat times, though, Joe, yeah. because it's looking like, as we've been talking about, that slackening swell on that forecast does seem like it's drawing out those set gaps. I mean, there's still big sets there, but I can see one on the horizon a long way off, but they are definitely taking slightly more time to come through. They are that. We can see it looks like Elena's going to be dropping in. Committing to there an insider. Goes. All right. Elena Moreno, wave number two. She got up 4.0. This is opening up nicely. You can see out the booth as well. All the way along, Elena, stylish. She just got no qualms with going deep on the wave. Moon A nice the few calves. Just not liking what she saw down the line or the wave not quite opening up enough. But this is looking like another nice wave as well from Muna, look, looking for her first first score. But very similar waves, actually. Pretty similar. Yeah, yeah. Nothing massive, but nice warm-up. And we've got some questions on here. Josue, baby shark, who do we think is going to win? I don't know. I mean, Muna has the experience, and she knows this wave, let's say, a bit better than Elena. She's had more experience out here. But I will say, it, Elena is hungry, and she's had the better scores up until now. Already in that wave, she's going to be getting some nice numbers coming her way. Uh, but I think it is going to be a very even battle, and it's going to come down to who has better wave selection and takes the bigger sets and can get past without going over the falls. Yeah, exactly. Same as Chaos 2.0, just saying Elena's never on the shoulder. I have to agree with you that, you know, Muna is a way more experienced athlete in this situation. She's had multiple world titles. She's competed in multiple uh, sports and disciplines, so she knows exactly what she's doing. But Elena hasn't backed off from anything today. She hasn't backed off from anything. And one thing's for sure, she's not going to have to take a ball bag home. <laughs> she's going to be handing out broken foils to the local kids, I imagine, by the end of this yeah, trip. Yeah, all right. So Elena dropping in. This is looking like another wave. She's already got a couple of good scores. Here we go. This is where she goes really deep. And it's on this turn. And then you can see back into the power section. She is... I'm going to say it, she's paying it safer than she did in the previous heats. Look, she isn't quite right next to the phone ball. I think and that's intelligent. That's good. Yeah. Getting some chalk on the board, as we've been saying, Tom. Uh, yeah, because I think she knows she's, there's still 17 and a half minutes to go. So there's still the same time now as the heats were long earlier. So she is playing it safe. I think it's a wise option. She does need to get two combo scores down. Um, but Moon is following it up here quickly with a, arguably a, a longer running wave, but doing a, maybe a bit less on the face. Just uh, that end section is getting quite fast now when they start linking down the reef. It's hard to, uh, hard to keep flowing through that end bow section. As you can see, she's come off the back of the wave there, and it's not looking like there's much wind on the inside. No, it doesn't. And here we can see that last ride there from Elena. All right, so Elena, 6.5, 3.4.0. Looking like she's going to have another good score. Very flowy all the way through. Muna also dropping in a little bit bigger wave. But as you say, maybe not so much amusement on the face. But it is pretty equal out there at the moment, Tom. Yeah, they're matching each other wave for wave. Um, but as you say, it's important to be doing because the sets are getting few and far between. That said, I can see what looks like a bigger set of the afternoon just rolling through on the horizon out there. Look at that. And a big shout out to Oran Ceris. Oran, hope you are good. Oran Ceris, one of our top athletes on the, the surf freestyle, hailing out of New Caledonia. Hope to be seeing you soon over there in Luquette. Veritable paradise. Yeah, and she's saying here, giving the vibes over to Elena. And yeah, that is right, Chris. It is going to be interesting as it does look like the waves are starting to get a little smaller, so it could turn into a air show in between Malo and Cash. Look, look at and this, here though. you can see Toby. The waves are beautiful. Elena, she's not dropping a beat, mate. This is, she's on big set wave, I think, of the set. This is an interesting one. There have been a few waves that have run through first, so she might have to deal with some white water, ooh, as ooh, we see ooh, there. Ooh, but ooh. she is deep. 
Is she gonna hold it together? She is. Oh, oh no! Oh no! And she went down. Uh, that was what I was saying. Because there were bigger waves oh. before that. She really did get. Watch uh, out for the next one. An unfortunate take there. She needs to. Oh. I hope she didn't get taken over with that. It looks like. Let's have a look. So she's all right. She's. She's still got all her gear, which is for me a I miracle. Tell you, I tell you what, those leashes, mate. What is that? <laughs> steel? Yeah, what, what leashes has she got? I think she's on the decline. She's leashes. getting back out there. She I mean, is. she is just unstoppable. Beast. Like a I, beast. Unstoppable. She should be getting marked highly for that. Now she is. I'm going to say she's out of the. Back. She's going to make out. it she's back, gonna back, make out, it back dude. out. Look at that. Look how close. And it was here at that last moment, boom, straight over and again and again in the second one. Yeah, definitely, as, as Mick's saying, he's so deep. But, you know, she has out of the impact zone, going to be making her way back out. And she's in one piece, which is the important thing. And now let's have a little look-see at hey, the scores. That is unbelievable. All right, so Muna, 6.435.87, 12 and a half. We have yeah. Elena, 7 and 6.53. She has a 13.53, so it is the Spaniard leading the pack so far. Good on her. Looks like Elena's got a job of official Cabrina durability tester these days. And throw it to her and she will tell you if it's worthy. Yeah, I know. I mean, that wing is either going to be, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a good sign, eh? Like she's, she's just inspecting it, well. seeing if everything's okay. But the wings definitely, yeah, it looks fine. Can't quite believe it, mate. Two absolute bombs on the head. Um, back up and going. Oh, no. Obviously, needs a, a few breaths. <laughs> Having said that, look at this set out the back. She does need to get moving. Oh, ho, there is a huge one. Look wow. at the lines this all the way. is a pumping set. Elena's going to... Be kicking herself that she didn't quite make it back out for this one, but... It's going to be sigh of relief that she didn't get it on top of her head. Look oh at this, Muna. My goodness. One of the biggest waves we've seen here today. Dropping in the Hawaiian. Here we go. What? No, it looks like couldn't quite get on it. Maybe she'd be going on the one behind, as that is an absolute bomb. And there is a big one. There's I an even bigger she, one coming. I reckon she's going to... Yeah, it looks like she's going to be trying to go for this one. Is she going to be turning around? Oof, oh, no. Oof. Oh, that, I think that was a tactical error from Muna there. Yeah, look at that set. Biggest set of the day going unridden. Some of those were firing through the lineup. But is she going to get on this one? Maybe she's going to manage it. Ah, that dropping wind. Yeah, the wind is dropping. And, and did Elena get out from the inside? Okay. All the way along. Elena, yes. Only she just. Is missing it by the skin of her teeth. And I bet Muna is going to be hating that she lost that set. I mean, that set wave could have made all the difference there, Joe. That was looking like a fairy tale Cinderella story of an eight-foot roller. Oh, yeah, that is such a shame. It looks like she you know, decided against it. Obviously, saw something behind her that was better. But then, unfortunately, you know, there on the, on the jive, didn't quite get playing as early as she expected. And missed out on that set. Elena, luckily missing out on that set as well, but for very two different reasons. All right, while we continue on, uh, we can see a lot of, uh, we can see a lot of the people, you know, given the vibe. Elena is so brave, number one fan. Elena, Elena is definitely still alive and kicking. I'll yeah, tell you what, more than the karate kid out there right now, mate. I mean, she, I think it's taken it out of her. Obviously, like in those situations, you, you really get that heart pumping. Yeah, and that's right, Mick. It definitely, with the offshore winds, does make it hard Good to go down the face. But I'm kind of with Tom here. I reckon Muna was looking at the one behind and then, unfortunately, couldn't quite get on it. But anyway, there's plenty of time. 11 minutes. We still have sets that are going to be coming our way. It ain't going to end with this. There is still a battle on our hands. But as it stands, Elena Moreno in the top position. Yeah, the bigger the wave, the stronger the, up, the upwind force from that offshore wind as well. So like you say, 
she could have seen the better wave behind. Sometimes that's the advantage of being on the crest of the wave. You can see what's behind. Sometimes it's a disadvantage, as we've just seen, because it can make you double guess your choice. Yep. But, you know, also if you are on the crest of a, what, an eight-foot swell with a strong offshore breeze and you know you can only just about get into it, you realize that you're going to have to take a serious drop in order to deal with just the takeoff. So, you know, strategically, she may have not wanted to wipe out. And here we go on one of the smaller ways, but still nice opening down to sign against it. I got uh, Liam here saying if the waves are like the ones we had last year. Liam, it is absolutely gigantic, mate. Size is just pounding down the reef. And yesterday we probably saw maybe even the occasional 12 foot on the other side on the left. And, you know, the locals calling some of the best waves they've had in a long time. We've been fortunate enough to land here right in the waiting period. Yeah, I mean, perfect. Couldn't have been better, really. From day one of the waiting period, we've been green lit on this event. Managed to get the first round of the uh, kite surfing done um, pretty quickly. And then the swell pumped in. And even I think even if it had come in a bit early, like we predicted, it's still, you know, we've got it as good as it could have been, really. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Talking to the organizer, Josh Silva, you know, he said he, you can't pay, you could not pay a million dollars to get these kind of conditions out here. And now here we can see Maeve is back. She's still here, mate. Maeve is back. She was going to disappear. Mate, but she's we thought you'd gone to bed. We thought you'd gone to bed, continuing on the stream, hoping Thailand. Uh, what time is it in Thailand? It's got to be past 12 o'clock, ain't it? I'm sorry, the world. It's beer time. It is definitely beer climb. Now that's here, mate. <laughs> One more hour. One more hour, and it is 5 o'clock. But look at this wind. It is clearly dying. There's Elena, though, back up and riding. I'm going to go. Catching her breath. I'm going to give her I applause. I mean, absolute uh, killer. Yeah. All right, true. so Muna is in position, waiting to see if another set comes through. Elena making her way back. There we can see Tom Hartman with the flags. Is it going to be Spain? Is it going to be the United States of America representing Hawaii? We will have to find out. And here we can wait for the ocean to send us a motion. But what a conditions, what conditions we have had here for the GWA Wing 4 World Cup. It has been absolutely nothing less than ridiculous. And now in the lead, Elena Moreno from Spain versus Muna White from Hawaii. Yeah, I mean, talk about paying off for Elena having a broad leash and a wing leash there. I mean, I don't know what leashes she is running, but they, uh, they have really paid off. She would never have recovered that if no. she didn't have a board leash on. I mean, there was a talk. There was talk at the beginning of the event whether board leashes should be used or not, based around safety and you know multiple leash tangles and things like that. Whilst you're out there, it would be easy to get sort of tied up in your leash if things go wrong. But look at that. She's recovered better than any of the guys so far. She's back in action, mate. She yep. is back in action. Hunting for a bomb. Hunting, I tell you what, she can smell blood. And she's circling like a shark. There we can see. Who's it going to be? Who's going to be first? Who's going to be second in less than nine minutes? We are going to find out on the women's side. Then we will move over to the men. Where it's going to be Casper Zola versus Malo Genolier. Gong versus Armstrong. Who is going to be on top of the world and claim himself the king down here on the island of Sal? I would not know who to bet on because both of the boys have had 10s. Both of the boys have had high knives. Two different styles when it comes to the air game. Similar when it comes to the surfing. It is going to be war out there, Tom. It is indeed, Joe. Uh, it is indeed. It's a Rosham throwdown. It could be anyone's um, right now. Maeve, 12.05, back just for the women's. I guarantee you stay for the men's. <laughs> 12.05, watching late over in Thailand to capture the action here on Cape Verde, 4 p.m. local time. The sun is just starting to lower in the sky. Atmosphere on the event site, and uh, I saw caught up with Ayrton, up, just upwind, sitting on the top of his truck, supporting everybody on the water. Kite surfing legend, winner of the men's kite surfing final yesterday here. 
on the legendary Punta Preta, just chilling and supporting and probably really enjoying the beginning of his 2024 season. Yeah, and we can see continuing on. It ain't going to stop. It ain't going to stop out here as they are pushing. They know where they're in the final. And then we're going to have the beach celebration. So we're first, we're going to be doing, finishing off the grand final here of the women. And then we will be running, get all the reactions. And then we will be running the final of the men. And we will be getting the interview of both of the athletes together to see how they feel, see what they've liked. Oh, it looks like Guy Crib giving you some love there, man. Yeah, Guy Crib, big up. Guy, if you're still yeah. watching, sent me a message uh, a few minutes ago. Obviously spent a lot of time foiling with Guy out in Fuerte Ventura. Also, Jim Gaunt sending me a message. Oh, from, Jim Boy. Yeah, from, uh, is he working with, he's working with Ozone, is he now? No? He is, yeah, I yeah? think so. Yeah. I think so, last time I talked to him. I mean, It'd be good to see him. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jim, but ex-editor of Kite World. Um, good lad, all-round legend in the sport. Uh, big up. Thanks for, the, thanks for the message. If you've got anything you want shouted out, make sure you get involved in the live stream. Yeah. It's myself, Tom Court, and Joe Siastela here in the hot box. That is the media station in front of Punta Preta and uh, keeping you guys entertained for the rest of the day. Looks like we don't need to really say that much because the waves are firing. Talk for themselves, mate. They talk for themselves. They do indeed. They do indeed. But I have to admit, I am getting more and more excited about getting out there myself. There's nothing like an underpowered light wind session and triple overhead waves to get me going. No, it will get you going or get you down, and that's for sure, mate. But you know, <laughs> looking forward to get out there. As we've been watching this for the last four days, and as soon as that button goes red, it is a hop, skip, and a jump across the rocks and into the water. Conditions in Cape Verde have just been off the charts. Oh, I was just about to shout you out, James. Message from James Bolding. Nice glass oh. of red wine in hand. Watching late this afternoon back in the UK, keeping up with his team rider there elena just stress yeah. testing the equipment as she gets just dragged over the reef time after time and proving that those wings just put up with everything <laughs> they certainly do last one the past there james hope you're doing good wine in hand i'm envious i'm envious mate i'm jealous I know, and yeah. now we are going to see elena so far holding on to that lead as they are does look like now tom there's another set coming their way are they going to be jumping on this? Because I'm going to say it. The wind is dropping. Oh, here we go. I, who is this? Who's this? That is looking okay. So, Muna dropping in. She needs a, a big bomb. score. She needs a big score. This could be saved by the bell with only two minutes on the clock. Look oh. at this. Muna White, defending champion. This could be the wave she's been waiting for. Look nice in the pocket. Look at those boils on the face there, oh. Joe. Hard to handle. All the way down, all the way down the line. Oh. Has she done enough? She is looking to improve her, sp her overall score by about 1.2. Hang on a minute. Look out the back. Elena Cabrina dropping in. Watch out. Could she be looking to improve on a six? point five three this is an absolute heater she's deep it's big and oh, steep yeah. oh my days look at that going deep keeping herself close to the phone ball a little further out than before she's been intelligent riding this like a final she knows she's in the lead up and down and keeping it stylish this is a amazing wave from elena all the way out from the peak Ooh. towards us tom this is looking like it could be the nail in the coffin. I've lost count of how many turns was on that wave, mate, but there's only 90 seconds. No, a less, a minute left on the clock. The crowd is going wild. Will Moon have a chance to reply? And we are waiting for scores. All right, Muna, she's going to try and drop in. It does look like, is she going to be able to do it? She does. Here we go. Another big outside bomb for Muna. Woo! Wrapping deep, coming back into it. 
She's looking. Oh, a little wing breaks oh. though. Just can't quite hold on to it. And watch out for the one coming up behind her. Oh dear, in the impact zone. Will she? I think she's probably okay. I think, I think she's, she's going to make yeah. it over this one. Oh, yeah, she. I think she's getting caught. It was looking like an epic wave though. What a shame. Muna dash, dashing her hopes, maybe. I mean, let's see what Elena scores for that last wave. But we've got nine seconds left in this heat. And looking as I reckon it could be all over. We are going to wait to see as we're waiting for the official results to come in. But while we do, we are going to be having a little look at the highlights of the epic final here for the GWA Wing Falling World Tour event, Cape Verde, in between Elena Moreno and Muna White. So now, welcome back, everybody. Tom, it is official. Look at the flag. There it is. The winner oh my of goodness. the Cape Verdean event. There she is, Elena Moreno from Spain. Congratulations. You are the queen of Punta Preta, the Cabrina athlete. Congratulations. What a result. She is going to be happy with that. I know there are people around the world stoked with that result. What support she's got online here as well. And uh, a well-deserved win, Joe, that. I don't think anyone worked harder out there. And definitely no one recovered from as, ma from as many deep <laughs> wipeouts <laughs> as she true. did today. No, no, absolutely incredible to see. And now just... Uh, Coming out in one piece is probably the word that we can say, but Elena Moreno, felicidades mi niña, espectacular, and absolutely killing it there for her. She's got had great action, great selection of the waves. She t dialed it down on going as deep as she had done in the quarters and the semis for the final to make sure that she had those base saws and then just work with it. And there it is. There's the Spanish flag running down fast to the beach she is your champion here for the gwa wing for world cup cape verde 2024 yeah she is going to be very happy with that and uh yeah well no words for those recoveries no words no and there Nothing. it is look at, look at that look at that hands in the air now we are talking there she is those are the vibes that's what we want to see that is what we want to have. And she is up and in the air. Elena Moreno, congratulations. Get her up on the shoulders. There it is. The official throne 
<laughs> Problem is, she's so far down the beach, Joe, that it everyone is. had to run there. She, I think everybody did a marathon to get down where she came out. But still, she's the champ. She can do it. Yeah, well, we'll catch up with her when she gets back up to the top of the point. But it looks like we're going to have a short break and then go, uh, what, straight into the men's final? Yeah, we're going to have a small break, a little as the AP flag is in the sky. And in about five minutes, we're going to be starting off with the men's final. Stay tuned. If you have any more questions on gear or whatever, make sure to stay on the stream. Tom, I think it's, cold. it's time to get a cold one and start to get this final going. Yeah, we better get a quick cold one in, but make sure you send out this link because the best is yet to come. We are going to be here, myself, Tom Court, with Joe Siastula on the live stream, bantering for the next 25 minutes, well, next half an hour, whilst we finish off this epic event. Let's get, get, let's get charged.